Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just realized I've never done a proper bike check video for the shark bike here. I did a video called The Deep a couple years ago. I'm sure a lot of you saw that. We really show off the bike, just the visuals of it, and then riding in really moody conditions. We shot that right at the start of winter in 2021. And I've been riding this bike ever since, but I just gave it some more customizations and I have an exciting new announcement. So let's check this thing out. First up, it has some fresh wheels on it. These are the Noble 38 wheels and I just worked out a deal with Noble, so I am now one of their athletes for the remainder of 2023. I'm so stoked, these wheels are so sick. It's got the Industry 9 Hydra hubs on it. It has rainbow spokes, which is crazy. And I love how the logos of the wheels are a matching turquoise to the frame. It just blends in so nicely with how the frame blends from lighter to dark. It also is like on the darker spectrum of things. And then the spokes have some lighter tones to them with a bit of purple and a bit of blue and the turquoise. It's in the purple and everything. It is so sick. I love that. And let's dive into the specs of the actual bike. I have a couple nicknames, but one of them is Mark the Shark, of course. It's probably the most common one for someone named Mark. But everyone will just say the shark or whatever. And I always thought a shark themed bike would be so sick to have. And I kind of have developed a liking to sharks just for that reason. So that's kind of what inspired the idea of this bike. I told my friends over at Fresh Paints and Whistler the idea around this bike. They were stoked to get involved. And uh, I just sent them scenes from the movie Jaws and some other shots I found on Google with sharks, with blood splatters, and some inspiration I had for this. And I didn't even ask for a preview of what they were working on. I said, just surprise me when it comes. And uh, I had no idea because they were like really good already. Like I knew the guys at Fresh Paints were dialed, but I haven't seen a lot of their work yet. They were just kind of starting out. And I actually had a nightmare that they made me a bike that just said the shark with like a Sharpie. <laughs> so funny. Not that I didn't trust them, it was just like the mystery of the bike. I had no idea what it was gonna be. And then I opened up the box on my back porch one day and I saw this, it was revealed to me and I could not believe how amazing of a job they did. I mean, look at this thing. It is crazy, the details. It's all hand painted and the stuff they've done to like really put into the detail of it is crazy. So I have sharks on both sides of the top tube there at the head tube area. I love how the non-drive side though has like that blood splatter everywhere. And then if you go down towards the bottom bracket area, there is a school of fish, there's a shipwreck, there is scuba divers. It is so cool. And these guys went above and beyond because they actually put tons of detail into the fork. As you can see here, there is a jellyfish right on the bottom of the lowers there and the details that go up towards the stanchions. It is so sick. I'm blown away by the creativity of this bike. Let's look at all the components that are on it now. Suspension, I have an SR Suntour Duralux 36 in the front, Tri-Air in the rear. I set up my suspension relatively stiff on this bike since I'm riding smoother jump trails on it for the most part. And the drivetrain is full Shimano XTR. When I first built this bike up, I went with a full XTR kit. And since then, I've had wear and tear on some parts. I've swapped things over. So I just put some fresh bits on there. I got brand new XT cranks, brand new XT brakes, and then the drivetrain, like the the actual cassette for the XTR is brand new. The derailleur's still going strong after a couple years. Those things are pretty bomb proof. They're pretty sick. And I'm testing out some Shimano flat pedals right now on this bike. So that is kind of the Shimano fleet for this build. And jumping into the cockpit components, I have PNW range handlebar and stem. They have been my go-to bar and stem for years. I just love the rise. It has a 30 mil rise, a really nice back sweep. And the stem is nice and short at only 40 mils. And then I'm using some of the PNW loam parts. I have the loam dropper post lever, which is really comfortable. It's like got a little padding for your thumb on it. And then the loam grips. And then the loam dropper, which has been flawless for me. I know I touched on the wheels right away, but I did not mention the tires. I'm running the Delium Versatiles. This is kind of a nice all-rounded tire, hence in the name Versatile. It is sick because it's good in the dry, it's good in the wet. It's gonna be my go-to summer tire. Typically, in the winter months, I'll run a rugged on the rear and a versatile on the front because it's a little faster rolling. The side knobs aren't quite as high as the ruggeds. 
but it's still like amazing grip, especially in dry conditions. So now that we're into the sunnier weather, as you can see, I'm gonna be using these tires for the remainder of the year on this bike. It's also a nice tread pattern for smoother jump lines, where, which is the purpose of this bike here. The only part on this bike that isn't one of my sponsors is the Chromeg saddle, the Chromeg Overture saddle. I've been buying these seats for years because they are just so dialed. It's a dirt jump seat by design, but if you have it at the right angle, it's actually really comfortable for climbing. It's really nice for pinching for tricks, of course, and I just think they look really nice and clean, not too bulky. It's a really good shape, not too long. I can't even handle most trail seats now after going to this thing, and it's just so, I'm just so used to it. It's so rad. And that's the bike, pretty straightforward. It's a lot of fun. Just wanted to give everybody a quick bike check. If you have any more questions about this bike, leave it in the comments, and I'll try to follow up with some YouTube shorts here over the coming days, weeks, whatever it is. Okay, thanks so much everyone. See you in the next video. Peace out.